one recent estimate from the Urban Institute uh, suggests that over 150,000 children in North Carolina could lose health insurance if a repeal uh, is passed without immediately replacing the, the, the law with something to, to um, maintain that coverage. In addition to just the coverage gains that are at jeopardy, what we could also see are um, the elimination of guaranteed preventative services. So this is really important in terms of the package of services that kids get when they get insured. You know, basic vaccinations are included. It also means that you could lose the protection uh, requiring insurers to cover kids with pre-existing conditions. Uh, so this means that kids with the most severe health problems might not be able to get insurance. And what happens with the, I've actually, I've heard people talk about that without following through on it, which is what happens if, if you have a child who's recovered from uh, uh, cancer or some other illness or has a chronic condition and we don't have the Affordable Care Act? I don't know. I, I mean, I think it's kind of up in the air right now. It depends on what they replace it with, if they replace it with anything. But if there are no guarantees for coverage, the insurance industry is not required to provide care to those kids. Um, you talked about Medicaid. Tell us why that. What are your concerns about? Or what are you worried about in terms of Medicaid? Sure. So Medicaid is, you know, it's the fundamental health care program for kids in North Carolina. It's how we insure kids with special needs. Um, it's how we insure kids from low income families. And you know, I think statewide, over a million kids on Medicaid. What the federal, what the Congress is proposing, and what Trump has endorsed, is a, a, a proposal to what they call block grant Medicaid. What that means right now, so if you have, are eligible for Medicaid, you're guaranteed certain levels of services. And it's not perfect, doesn't always play out exactly right, but legally you're guaranteed services. What this would do would take away those guarantees and it would say, all right, North Carolina, you get a lump sum of money. If it's not enough, you can't cover all these kids, that's too bad. You're going to have to figure out a way to do it with state dollars or however. So what we could see happen is massive funding cuts, uh, no longer guaranteed services for kids who need them. So you could see kids drop off the rolls, and you could see even kids who get Medicaid services not get the services that they need.